new this morning, we are getting a better understanding of why Floridians, some of them, have decided against getting vaccinated. Researchers at the University of South Florida surveyed 600 people to better understand what's driving vaccine hesitancy. This is reporter Ashley Harding joins us live. And Ashley, uh, more than half those surveyed had already gotten at least one dose. The rest had not. That is true, Bruce and Jennifer. Good morning to you both. Yes, that does line up with what state health officials have told us. More than half of adults in Florida, actually it's about 58%, have gotten at least one dose. Now the survey says was 64%. Now of those not vaccinated, the number one reason given was people are concerned about potential side effects. More than 9 million Floridians have rolled up their sleeves and are now fully vaccinated against COVID-19, but others still aren't. And now a new University of South Florida study is shedding new light on the reasons some are saying no. USF surveyed 600 people and found that 35.3% said they will probably not or definitely not get vaccinated. 24.3% were still undecided. Of those who said probably or definitely not, nearly three quarters said they were worried about possible side effects. Participants could pick more than one reason and nearly half said they thought the vaccines were created too quickly. And about 20% said they don't believe the vaccines work against the spread of the virus. A study also revealed something interesting. Of those who took the surveys, 73% reported hearing misinformation about the vaccine over the last six months. The main bits of misinformation people reported hearing were that the vaccine contained a live strain of the virus or 5G microchips or that the COVID-19 vaccines can modify your genetics and alter your DNA. And that USS study also found that the people who responded were divided on whether Florida schools should require students to be vaccinated before the fall starts. They were also divided more about theme parks. Now, where there's an area where there's a little more support was for mandatory vaccinations for cruise ship passengers to see that full study and its results. Head to our website, newsforjax.com. Live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.